Holy crap, Star Wars fans, we need to talk about all these crazy rumors with what's going on with The Mandalorian movie, another season of The Mandalorian, and also the fact that maybe The Mandalorian movie and Filoni's movie are a part of a trilogy? What? What the f- It's all crazy stuff. This is happening really fast. So let's get into this. Let's break it down. I'll also share some speculation on these different options and why I personally think this could be a good thing. This is definitely a scramble by Lucasfilm, but this could be a good thing. So I think the biggest question about this Mandalorian movie is, does it replace season four of The Mandalorian, or are we also getting that? When the news first broke in that Star Wars press release, they didn't really clear that up, although Deadline did report that season four of The Mandalorian was still in development. However, many others out there were speculating or hinting that they had heard that the season four Mandalorian story was now gonna be adapted into this Mandalorian movie. And just yesterday, we got a brand new report from Making Star Wars that basically explains it might be a little bit of both. Now, I'm gonna pull up an article here on Bespin Bulletin, who's talking about some reports that they have had, but also the report here from Making Star Wars. Bespin says the fourth season of The Mandalorian was already written by the time of the release of The Mandalorian Season 3, according to the series creator, John Favreau. The fourth season was due to begin filming at the tail end of September, last year, but was indefinitely delayed due to the WGA and the SAG after strikes, which ran all the way into the fall. Bespin says he had heard in November, reported in December, that the fourth season was gearing up for a February 2024 start. Bespin goes on to say, mere days before the Mandalorian and Grogu announcement, two separate sources reached out to tell me that the situation had changed and filming was no longer planned for February. One source told me a new window for filming, but the other didn't know. I told my fellow Star Wars reporter and insider making Star Wars what I had heard in hopes of maybe one of us finding some clarity, as he too heard of the February start a little after I had. Unfortunately, the endeavor wasn't fruitful, and then suddenly, The Mandalorian and Grogu was announced. So that's kind of interesting. It's really just framing the fact that this is crazy. Things are happening so freaking fast, and then Bespin in this article goes into the report, or I guess the rumor from making Star Wars. And it's really important to mention here that Jason heard this from one source, couldn't quite get it confirmed, so he's not running this as a report. This was something he answered from a question in a YouTube stream, okay? So this is not really confirmed, although it could actually be what they are planning. And what Jason said was this, one of the concepts that have come out of this, count this as just a rumor for now, is that the plan was to do six episodes of Mando season four Four, and to take the finale, what would have been the finale, the big two-parter from the end of that and develop that into the movie. Let's stop for a second and explore that option. That's crazy. So they might do six episodes of The Mandalorian as a show and then do the final two episodes as a big movie that will go into theaters that essentially will close up the story of the Mandalorian's fourth season, I guess? And I gotta say, I have mixed feelings about this option. On the one hand, this is really interesting. I don't think anything like this has ever been done with a big live action franchise like this. And I'd be interested to see how would audiences respond to this? Because you would imagine a lot of the people that watch The Mandalorian would also go watch the movie. I don't think that is gonna fall apart, right? Like a lot of us, like people that are watching this video, like let's be honest, we're all in it. Even if you're like really frustrated with Disney, you're probably gonna watch the fourth season of Mando. You're going to go watch the film. But I guess the question is, will the movie actually be able to reach out to other kinds of audiences? There are people that just casually enjoy Star Wars, and it's sort of a big ask for somebody that just wants to go watch a Star Wars movie to also watch multiple seasons and then six episodes of a show. I also really wonder what that movie will be like. Like movies usually have a contained structure, even if they're within a trilogy or a series that allow you to understand sort of the characters, the conflict, and then the resolution for that exact 
movie. Will this movie begin with like a sort of recap thing that they always do on Disney Plus? I don't know. That's going to feel really weird. There's something about watching Star Wars in the movie theater that's supposed to be very reverent and almost sacred, right? The crawl comes up, kind of gives you the backstory, and then you're right in it with the characters' conflicts and, you know, following the story along. So, I'd be really interested to see how this could be handled, and I'm wondering how the audience would react to this. But let's put a pin in that. We'll talk more about that in a second. Let's talk about some of these other crazy reports that are out there. First of all, I should say, I've actually heard the opposite of this. Like, when I reached out to sources, I heard no season four of the mandalorian like that's not going to happen that's what i was told there are some other people reporting this as well so a little bit of conflicting information here maybe they'll do this series thing into the film maybe they'll just do the film but i think the more interesting thing here is that whatever this story was that john favreau had for the fourth season of mandalorian which again he did say was completed that story is at least partially, maybe completely being adapted into the movie. But again, nobody really knows for sure. Hopefully we're getting some information to clear this up soon, maybe from the trades, maybe from Disney and Lucasfilm themselves. But I think a wider point here is that this is really chaotic. I mean, that's why we can't get clarity. That's why people are hearing so many different things. And you know, what Bespin has put in his article indicates that this kind of changed quickly. Like Mando 4 was ready to film, all of a sudden it's delayed all of a sudden this movie is announced like that's kind of the timeline of this so this really does feel like something done not necessarily out of complete and total desperation but certainly this is adjusting the plan audible at the line a pivot whatever you want to call it this is not something that has been planned well for years in advance this is somewhat of a scramble because you'll remember there were rumors about this happening in the summer of last year but the problem with those rumors is that that was happening during the strikes that was like the heat of the sag after strikes and of the wga strikes so whatever those rumors were referencing could have not been anything other than just conversations at the executive level right ideas on a whiteboard essentially because they were legally not allowed to actually make these plans with the creative teams and to investigate how they would write this how they would create this how they would cast that nothing official was allowed to happen last summer so even though those rumors do exist and i do believe jason ward was one of the first that had those they were just thought of as like rumors ideas they might explore nothing concrete until the strikes end and then all of a sudden here in january we're getting this crazy announcement and this really big pivot there are several new reports that are indicating this is likely due to production problems with the ray movie jason himself had recently reported that his sources have told him steve knight has not turned in a single draft for the Ray movie and, and just quick TLDR on the production of the Ray movie. This movie was originally going to be about a 70 year old Ray. Daisy Ridley was not going to be in it and Damon Lindelof was writing it. A couple of weeks before Star Wars Celebration, Kathy Kennedy fires Lindelof, hires Steve Knight and brings on Daisy Ridley. So that movie, whatever Lindelof had, whatever Lucasfilm had from Lindelof had to be changed almost completely because now it's going to be a young Daisy Ridley it's not going to be dealing with like her older and so that whole story has likely changed and apparently Steve Knight hasn't turned in a single draft for this film in fact here's an interview recently where Daisy Ridley is being asked about this and her answer is kind of telling here can you tell us something about the next Star Wars movie I'm waiting to read the script I know the story is amazing very excited to work with Charmaine I don't know when it will be uh, so that's all I know. Yeah, that doesn't seem great. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of progress there and that she even knows when the movie is coming out. So we know that Disney badly wants Star Wars to get back into the movie theaters. Like there's some kind of, you know, ultimatum over there or a lot of pressure coming from Disney on Lucasfilm that's like, yo, you asked for this break. 
all of these movies are falling apart, you gotta get a movie into the theaters. And it seems like the Ray movie's not really going well, so they pivot into this idea that maybe they first explored last year at an executive level during the strikes. However, there's one more really crazy element to all of this, so I wanna talk about that report, and then I wanna just speculate, break down what I think is really going on here, and like, is this the way like is this really gonna work i don't know but the new report here coming from jason ward is saying that he's heard that this mando and grogu movie may actually act as part one of a new trilogy and that dave's movie will likely be the part two of that and then they'll have some kind of epic conclusion now there's a caveat here to the reporting where making Star Wars is essentially saying this would only happen if that first movie, if this Mandalorian and Grogu film was successful. If that movie's successful, then they'll kind of craft Filoni's movie into being a part two, and then they'll get a part three, and maybe the two dudes will work together or something like that. But that is generally what the report is. And my thoughts on that are a little conflicted. Like, I like that idea, like doing a trilogy that's essentially like, heir to the empire with the mando verse that seems absolutely incredible like i like that quite a bit actually and i think that maybe is just what they should have announced last year at star wars celebration and that's probably what they should be just working on but of course it's a little concerning that this is like a last minute kind of audible at the line that essentially they're like yo we're gonna make mando 4 it's gonna either be part show and movie or it's gonna be a total movie either way it's a movie and then dave's movie which we announced at celebration and really seemed like it would be a culmination of all the events happening in the mandalorian story well if john's movie is successful we're gonna change dave's movie and make it a part two of a trilogy and then we'll sort of push dave's big culmination thrawn storyline thing into the third act of that movie frankly guys not a great plan maybe i'm just a stubborn curmudgeon of a star wars fan at this point but i just keep thinking back to the michael arndt problem and it seems like disney and lucasfilm hasn't learned any lessons from that problem essentially what i'm talking about is when disney first bought star wars they had michael arndt working on scripts for the new trilogy michael arndt basically told disney and kathy he would need years to properly plot out a fully fleshed out story for all three movies and that's going to take time but it would be worth it and they basically fired him brought kasdan and jj in to write force awakens and basically said we don't need a plan we need it fast and the story of the sequel trilogy was muddled together and not great it wasn't well written and a big reason why is because they didn't just listen to michael arndt and allow the dude to take the time to write the story so frankly guys there's a part of me here that's like man this is a lot of scrambling lucasfilm flailing lucasfilm you know just can't figure it out lucasfilm making big changes on a dime you know a little bit of a hail mary here that does not actually make me feel very confident that all of this kind of stuff is going to work but on the other hand i will say the prospect of getting excited for a mandalorian and grogu movie and the idea that that could lead into a trilogy is way more compelling and exciting to me than them doing a ray movie that's not really the start of a new trilogy and we don't really know what's going on with that movie and the fact that you have all the i guess baggage of uh divided fandom that will come with a ray movie i actually think think maybe this pivot and maybe the fact that the Ray movie can't seem to get it together is a blessing in disguise. Like this could actually be much better for Star Wars. And ultimately a little bit of this has to do with how good the story is that John and Dave have already kind of worked on for the Mando verse and for all of these different movies and the shows because it's been rumored for some time that there was going to be some kind of a culmination of the Mandoverse shows in movie form. So it really depends how good is that story? How awesome is that stuff? 
and can it actually carry the Star Wars brand through a series of movies that people get really excited about and engaged in? Like Mando and Grogu are great characters, right? But but you're going to need Luke Skywalker. You're going to need Thrawn. You're going to need some pretty epic shit to be happening in this series of movies to really invigorate, I think, you know, the, the Star Wars fandom. Like I'm personally so curious, what's the story for Mando 4, right? Because John had this written season three kind of felt like it was filler so the real juicy stuff seems like it was going to land in season four i'm really curious as to why they sort of comment in that press release that the story they had for mando 4 is perfect for the movie theaters like that was kind of a comment that they made in that press release so ultimately it depends how good is the story that john has for this movie how good is the story that dave has for ahsoka season two and his movie and then how good will that third movie be if indeed the first one is successful and these two dudes work together to make a trilogy i mean ultimately despite everything despite all of our trepidations we have to admit this is john and dave the best working dudes like the guys over at lucasfilm this is those guys potentially being handed a film trilogy here so at the end of the day that's a w like there's a lot of question marks we're not sure exactly what's going on but i think many of us have actually wanted this for some time and like who knows right we got to get through all of this stuff first but there's like a little part of me that's like yo if they nail this then you should give them episode 10 11 and 12 right if they nail this then i think five six years from now maybe even eight nine years from now when that's all finished give them a new trilogy because i really do think star wars needs another trilogy so i don't know man just another day of being a star wars fan a lot of crazy things happening and a lot of fans kind of looking side eye at it and uh, having their own discussions about it so let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below and as i always say i hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video